So I'm going to start off this video being perfectly honest with you. It is weird for me to talk to the camera when anybody's watching you. Like, and that includes my wife, who I've been married to for... Oh, crap, I just kicked the breaker on my power strip with my foot. My good foot. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm going to plug everything back in, and then I'll finish that thought. Okay, I'm back. So what happened there was I have a power strip under my desk, and I accidentally... Uh, <laughs> Kicked it with my only remaining foot and turned the switch off. So I lost power to my light, um, my computer, my laptops, which is no big deal because it's battery, and then my TV, which is right next to me. So back online, we're good. So what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by my good foot, um, talking to the camera is strange because... Uh, like, <laughs> Amy and, both Amy and Alex look at me like, what are you doing? And like, if, if Alex sees me doing it, he always peeks his head over thinking I'm like FaceTiming somebody. Amy knows what I'm doing and then she, when I get done, she comments on it right afterwards. Like, oh no, I think you're fine. Or, you know, oh yeah, no, I totally understand. You know, and it's not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad she does it. But she, uh, <laughs> she comments and for me, it's still a little bit strange. I'm guessing I'll get used to it. But hey, who knows? So um, this video will be a little bit more fun than my last ones. Um, so first we're going to talk about follow me along. You're going to follow along with me for doctor's appointments. Um, I went to a pros my my appointment with my prosthesist, whatever. And then uh, I had an appointment with my uh, the nurse practitioner for my for my surgeon. Um, he was on, he's on vacation right now, so he is not around. Um, but she looked at my, my surgical site and, uh, I'll talk to you a little bit about that. And then we're going to end the video with what might have been the funniest Alex meltdown I have seen in a long time. And lucky for you, it was all captured on video. So uh, stick around for that. It's something you do not want to miss. So that was a close call. I called to confirm my appointment for tomorrow with my prosthesis. And we found out it was in 20 minutes. And Alex found them in the m &Ms. So we're on our way to that appointment right now. I'm a little anxious. I'm excited. I know it's just an informational appointment. At least I'm sure it is. But either way, I'm excited to get the ball rolling on this. I think it's a big step forward, no pun intended. Um, I'll let you know how it goes after, but uh, should be there in just a minute. Let's do this. So we're at Panera Bread and uh, Amy made a horrible joke about me going in to pick up the coffee. And she said, quote, chop, chop. Insensitive and mean, Amy needs to be punished for that. But in other news, I just left my first appointment at Hangar for my, uh, with a prosthesisist. And uh, I feel very, I was kind of feeling down. I feel a lot better at the moment. Um, they put me in a smaller stump shrinker, a size five. I was on a size six. Um, he explained the process to me. It'll be, uh, once my wound is healed, the surgical site, and once the, uh, once my stump is the correct size, They'll fit me for the prosthesis. It'll be like a casting, they said. And um, after that, it'll take about two weeks for it to be delivered. So right now, we need to be on the road to healing. And we need to be on the road to shrinking. So that's where we're at. I also need to point out, I, I uh, mentioned this in my first video, on the roof. Yeah, that's a, that's a barbecue sauce stain because of this guy. Say hi, Alex. You put barbecue sauce on the roof one day in a temper tantrum. What? Let's get out of the car. Well, mommy's got to get coffee. Where is mommy gone? She's in Panera, bro. You tired? Is she gone now? She's just inside. She'll be right back out. What do you want to do? I don't want her anymore. Why not? You broke her heart. Yep. How'd you do that? 
You cut it. That's not nice. Why'd you do that, bub? What? Hey, mommy took you to get a drink when you wanted one. I cut it because I love her. Oh, you do love her. Hey, why is your seatbelt messed up? That strap needs to go back over your chest, kiddo. That's dangerous. Yeah. If we get in a wreck, you could hurt yourself. You got anything else to add? Were you looking for my foot when I came out? Huh? Okay, your foot. Well, no, I still have to get it, uh, the wound has to heal on it. I still have the stitches in there and that's gotta heal first. He was telling me all about it though. He said when I have my new foot, I'll be able to run and play with you. And jump. And jump and go on walks. And go to parks and here comes mommy with our coffee. So I just found the best part about being an amputee and it is being able to easily put my foot up on the dashboard. Not even straining it. Bob, what time did you wake up? Six? Six! Hi. Hi. An iPad? So it's uh, doctor appointment week. I'm getting ready to go to my foot doctor. Now, strangely enough, he's out of town. He's on vacation this week and I think that's... So I'm seeing his nurse practitioner. This is the first appointment since uh, my surgery. Um, I was hoping to get stitches removed, but I don't think that's gonna happen today because, um, I don't I mean, maybe it wasn't meant to happen, but I also fell the two times. And so I have a spot that opened up. Um, so we're gonna see how this appointment goes. She's gonna check it out. I'm not hopeful though, I'm gonna get my stitches, any stitches removed at this point. No, those aren't toys in there, but... That's, that's uh, Dr. Stuff in theirs. We gotta leave them alone. Don't open them. Is it locked? Well, it looks like it. Yeah, don't, don't open them. They don't want you in there. Is that locked. one locked? Yeah, no, don't open it though. Don't open it. Oh. I know you're curious, kiddo. Don't open that one, that one will break. That one's locked for a reason, honey. It's okay to be curious. You just what can doctors do with it? Well, they, uh, if they, they have like keys and stuff to get in there if they need something. And they have like supplies in there, like stuff to help with allergies. And that's super and... important. They don't want people getting into their supplies because they need those to help others who need them. Like some of the stuff in there helps with injuries or maybe they have like extra gloves or... And they're not to be played with, honey. Hey, I get... Doctors and nurses need those. Hey, I get being curious. I'd let you explore it if I could, but I just can't let you, kiddo. So good news from the appointment. She said, uh, nurse practitioner said everything looks good. Alex is here to be a helper. Um, he was a, he was the supervisor, but everything looks good. It's the, the stitch did pop out. Um, she has me coming back in another week. What is that? Curious, Alex. Um, she has me coming back in another week to look at it again, and maybe stitches will come out then. But nothing came out today, which is kind of what I expected with the with the drainage still. So, good news. Keeping at it and staying positive. Alex discovered how to surf at Apple Music and he found some of my old playlists. Thankfully he turned that one off because that was Eamon's Don't Want You Back. Oh, nope, he's back to it. What are you doing back there, bud? What are you doing back there? Play with your iPad? Ooh, pony. Why you keep going back to that one? I'm, I don't know if I should stop this or let it go because Oof. That's a bad one. That's a bad word. No, that song is not a very good song. It's not a very good song. 
Now that's a song my old friend, uh, my buddy Mike Jones, who passed away a few years ago. Him and I used to jam to that song in high school, which is why it's on my playlist in 2021 still. What? What are you doing back there? We're at Walmart. Amy ran in to pick up his prescription right now. So him and I are in the car playing with iPads and he's got Apple Music going back there. Let's talk a little bit about this meltdown before we go right into it. So Alex is uh, five years old. He's he's uh, still, you know, he's, he's doing a great job. He doesn't wear a pull up to sleep anymore. He, we stopped doing that about a month ago. Um, but he still has accidents when he pee, you know, he'll still pee the bed sometimes. And uh, to avoid those, we don't give him anything to drink, you know, leading up to bedtime. Um, so in this video, he desperately wanted grape crystal light. We said no. And so the compromise was water. We said, you can't have crystal light, but you could have water. Now, just like most five-year-olds, Alex is not a fan of water. Um, he wants to drink something with, you know, juice flavored. He doesn't like soda, thankfully. He hates soda. That's awesome. We never let him really drink it anyways. Um, he likes coffee a little bit. He likes coffee. He'll sip it sometimes. Anyway, that's not the point. Check out this meltdown. I hope you get a laugh out of it. Um, and I'll leave you with that. See you in the next video. All right. So here's the, here's what's happening here. Let's break this down. Uh, You're not getting great. That's the number one. I want it! Well, no, I know you want it. But it, it, you want it now. I want it Nobody likes it. I do. What about me? No. I do. What are you going to buy? Rex, Link, it all, nobody. They all love it. No. Rex has parties in the bathtub in the water. Yes, you can. No, you can't in the bath. Okay, well, you can't drink bath water, but you can drink water from the sink. But no, it's from the bath. Well, the water mommy was going to give you was from the sink. I'll even let you drink water from my Brita pitcher. That's the yummy water. And it, what does it taste like? like? Good water? No, I don't like it. That's Gusty. How you know when's the last time you had water? I, 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 it'll make me die. It will? Yep. Well, how will that, how will it make you die? Because it's too watery and it might spill. Well, how, if it spilled, how would that make you die, though? It'll make me die if it goes on. If you, if you drink it, it'll make me die. How will it do that? Here you go. Smallest amount of grape imaginable. Smallest amount. That was water.